I feel like we need to start a section that's like, what, what, what to you makes a song good? Uh, if you're asking me that now, I don't know, I don't know, I have no idea. There's this rule inside of me where when you can sing the song with a single guitar and just vocals, and if it sounds good, it's it's a good song. If you can break it down to the chords and the melody, and it like still sticks, mm. it like that's like a good song. I love her version of the song because it's her and it's her voice, mm. but I mean their version is incredible. It's like who wouldn't want to listen to that? You know, right. it's like it's cool chords, they're easy going. It's like it's just it's a good, it's great. So it, it, which is a testament to like a good song, I think too, is if it if it can exist in different forms, right and not just like the way it was recorded. You can dress it up with all these like, booms and bangs, but if if the song doesn't sound good when it's just, stripped you know, down. yeah, stripped down, mm -hmm. like, and Damuawski is one of those songs where you can arrange it to blue or red or orange or pink and it still sounds good. I think this is like a perfect blend of like the super sweet candy-like idol pop sensibility with YMO substance. Right. And I think that's why this song did really well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think also too, just it's a good way of showing how heavy synth work can make a song feel not as daunting as people think. It's like, oh, I'm going to throw a wall of synths on things, you know? Right. right. I think a lot of times, like with most of the stuff, it's like kind of a perfect storm. You know, it's like mm -hmm. what the person was going through, where they recorded at, who they were recording with. Mm -hmm. Like, there's just so many things to it. Like, you, you could have your, yourself set up in like the most beautiful studio in the world mm -hmm. and have every instrument at your disposal and, and make like the worst record of all time. <laughs> でないなるほどね。そこはみんな割とイメージが一致してというかそういうのをやろうみたいな。Also, the crazy thing too about arranging synths is like it's very similar to arranging like an or orchestral performance too where all these synths have to take up a certain amount of frequency space and the fact that, I mean, YMO, obviously before this, are, were masters of it, but to do it in a way that is with a pop sensibility in mind for YMO, because I know they also did this for, you know, other mm. artists and stuff, is just super impressive. And so to di dissect that was super, it was a great exercise, it was super fun to like hear why you can hum every synth part, every mm. lyric part, mm. you know, that type of stuff. I think right. that's what I learned when I ran through the song like you know 50 times or whatever right. very interesting a lot of it to me is just like does it feel earnest mm -hmm. you know does it feel like is it, is it feel like something that somebody's like trying to say something and i think even in terms of like sometimes songs are just cool because they sound cool mm -hmm. and that but that in itself is like comes from so much of like searching for something like finding something you know what i mean it's right. not like it's never about like oh this is the right thing to do so mm -hmm. we're going to do this and add this to it when i was just playing like before i added the drum machine to my arrangement it was just chords i was just trying to learn the song so mm -hmm. chords and um the vocal me uh, the vocal melody it like was so fun to sing mm -hmm. that i think that it was like even though like now i've sung it so many times um like i'm not sick of it we actually might arrange it for full band and do it like at the New York show or something. Oh, or keep that it would be so cool. Yeah.